you can see we have fixed the plug between centers and there are two blocks that carry the segment which you can see inside one segment here and one segment on this side so now when we start the machine you can see the process is the control panel operators panel this is for the spindle rotation main spindle and this is for the swing cradle swing speed regulator here this should not exceed 2.5 approximately here depending on the part you can go up to 40 rpm or 50 rpm not more than that this machine has the capacity to rotate up to 200 rpm but that is not for these big jobs similarly since these this operation is based on a pin driven cam there are two auxiliary cams here and here which take the whole spindle this vice base here in there at the same time this will rotate we will show you now the operation the main switch on here you can see one light is glowing this shows that unless there is air pressure this panel will not start if th there is no air this will go off and you cannot operate the panel and at the same time this rotary center will go back now we switch on the timer once you switch on the timer switch on the slurry pump switch on the spindle you can see the spindle has started rotating along with the plug plug wall then you have to clamp the plug and then you start the rotation now you can see the abrasive is also flowing and the timer has started now when this abrasive is flowing you have to take the blocks with the help of this wire it will go inside now you can see even the wire base is moving up and down now it is going up and then it is coming down you can see from here see it is coming down and then it is slowly going up the intention is it should be slow now we also show you the movement linear movement of the you can see this has come inside now this is going away this rotary center is actuated by see now it is coming this side At the same time this end you can see now it is going out to the right side and then once the swing goes down and comes back it will again 
go inside this was the movement intended to cover the plug surface and also give it a movement so that there is a more uniform lapping or more uniform stock removal that will end in matching the both the segments with the profile of the plug here we have added one more feature called the wash this is to be used only when the cycle is over and be before you remove the parts this shower is given so that you can wash the parts of abrasive clean the area and then put it back this machine has been specially conceived and designed by paraflat on special request from one of our customers bottom you see the door and there are two tanks you can see the abrasive oil being returned to the abrasive tank and on the right side is the tank with only lapping oil for washing the parts so that all the oil going back and abrasive going back will not be contaminated and will return to the tank so there are two tanks for this application when the not necessary we close the you can absolutely hear no sound at all of the machine in running there are two motors one is the main spindle motor which is rotating maximum 200 rpm and this is the side back rear motor actually for the cam 